They can be in this at any moment. Just gotta up their mental game, let their talent speak. Amazing placement. What a shot. Yahtzee overhead. Aspect of mental toughness here that's just so different. I like the body language of all four players. Oh, look at that shot! Great hands from Kiro. Hello and welcome to the 2023-24 APTA Tour presented by Bali. We are live from the Manufacturers Golf Club in Fort Washington, Pennsylvania, bringing you the 2024 Philly Open, which is the 15th stop on the 2023-24 PTA Tour. With live streaming brought to you by the APTA membership, the APTA national sponsors Bali and Fusion, and local sponsors Levant, Down, the Unilaba, James D. Morrissey, Last Doctor, Fit Life, Creative Financial Group, AC Capital Management, Synergy, Davin Sports Cars, Citrus Salon, and Day Spa. I'm Jerry Viant along with Patty Hogan bringing you the women's final between Morgan Sakura and Borish Elliott. And welcome, Patty. We can see the players there warming up on the court. Yeah, hi Jerry, welcome. On the far side in the pink sneakers, I believe that is Lynn Burr serving. And on the far side in the light top, Macy Elliott over in that ad court. Our, well, we'll get another shot. Oh, there we go. We're, we're gonna get a little bit of everybody here. Charlotte Sakura just hit that serve from the ad court far side, all the dark outfit. And then that's Allison Morgan right there with the white paddle, all black. Returning serve of that deuce court. Jerry, what do you think? This is gonna be something. I, I think so. This is the, the final tournament leading international, so all players are dialed in. Um, and I think we have to think, as these players are warming up, I have to think about the last two lead-up tournaments where Borish and Elliott you know, made their way to their first ever Grand Prix wins in Detroit. And then they followed that up with their second Grand Prix win two weeks ago in Short Hills. They've got a 3-2 head-to-head -head record over Morgan and Socorro. They've beaten them the last two times that they met, the semis of Detroit and then the finals of the Atlantic Classic. But of course, prior to that, right. Long Island in December, we had Boris and Elliott up, up 5-2 in the third with Matt points against Morgan and Socorro, who just hung in there and pulled that out. So it should be an interesting battle. It's a good shot there of our umpire, Tim McAvoy, will be calling the match. Yeah, Jerry, and in the women's game with Burrs and Elliott now on top of the standings, they, I think they're two and two this year with Hanish and Sabori, who are number two in the current rankings. And then Allison uh, Morgan and Charlotte Sakura, number three with Hal Baller and Nicolescu, didn't play together in this tournament, going into Nationals' number four seed. And uh, I, I think with the play of Burrs and Elliott, Lynn Jerry, Burst, the second half of the season, you got to pick them. Yeah, they're... They've been red hot last couple of tournaments. Finals of the previous four, and then they're right there. Morgan Sakura beat uh, Delmonico and Gebbia earlier today. You might have caught that action. They had a great three set match. Uh, Morgan Sakura won that 6 1, 3 6, 6 2. And Burris Elias uh, came out on top of Alexan and Lopez. Uh, 6 4, 6 3, another semifinal action. Both teams have, this is their fourth match for the day. Fifteen low. This is a 16 uh, team draw, Jerry, so they can play those four matches all in one day. Um, fun event run, run out of a manufacturer's. Kudos to tournament director Scott Falatek. Always has done a wonderful job with APTA tour events. Like we said, this is this is the final tournament going into nationals, and I think 
you know, Morgan and Sequoia, they, they played wow. 10 tournaments together and they've won five, posting a very impressive 28 win, five loss. They've also reached the finals at the Atlantic Classic and three semi final finishes. And Charlotte also won the Still City Classic playing with Macy Elliott. 40. And Alice wow. won the Hinsdale Classic with Liz Cruz, so definitely not lacking any match play experience. No. I think uh, Morgan and Sakura, Jerry, what strikes me about them this year. You know, they've, they're a committed team to each other. They're working their way up in the rankings. And, you know, this is the first year where they've really pulled off a couple of wins against our game's top two teams currently. And, you know, that, that bodes well for them as they head to Boston Nationals. They had a little shakiness in a three-setter. Um, but, you know, kudos to Demonico and Gebbia in the second set of their semifinal for kind of grinding it out and finding first a way to put together. Elliot win the first game of the first set. Yeah, found their tempo a little bit, and Morgan Sakura got a little went a little flat there in that second set, Jerry, and then they got it together, and you know, I, I they're going to be out here. I I, I think this is going to be really fun. I, I can't wait to see. This is sort of a home court advantage for Charlotte Sakura. Uh, she was a teaching pro for a couple of years with Lori Hissy over at Radley Run Club, um, and now she owns her own company, Racket Odyssey, does travel camps of all sorts, paddle, tennis, pickle. Charlotte can do it all. Sikora we just saw, it, just saw a sweet backhand drive down the line from Alison Morgan, which that, she loves that shot. Love 15. Big, big backhand. Also, we'll see off the deck from Charlotte Sikora. That's her favorite shot. Here, the good thing about this court now, the sun has gone down. You can see a little bit of the sun over there in the far end of the picture, which is great news for the players. Great visibility, perfect time of day to play paddle. Yes. The yeah, conditions look good. Oh. 30, 15. That was there. Sister Cora was looking to cut that ball off, and Orish was going down the line. 30 all. Shout out Allison Morgan with her zine on top. She's co-director out at uh, the Birchwood Club outside Chicago. Co-director along with her husband, Adam Morgan. 40, yeah, all, 30. all four women are teaching professionals. So what to look for in this match? We've got Borish and Elliot, explosive power. Now, Borish off the deck with her forehand. Elliot with her two-handed backhand in the middle. So, you know, they've got to be careful, Morgan and Sakura, where they place that ball on the deck. Yeah, I think when you play Elliot and Borish, there's no real good spot. <laughs> they've got to keep, keep the ball deep. And, you know, Elliot and, and Borish, when I watch them play, they have very few weaknesses in their game. I mean, they no, are they, just rock-solid defenders, Jerry. No, I, they have improved every aspect of their game. You know, even to the, you know, Elliot's really added and going for her big kick serve now, especially to the do side. Oh, take a look at that, because she was at Short Hill. She was, you know, her serve was was pulling Harnish all the way over to the, the ad side of the court and really opening it up the court for her. Yeah, and look at that also overhead put, from <laughs> Yep, and there again you see Elliot and, and Borsch really closing the net tight. They're Game. looking for the ball to be Sequoia driven. Morgan. To close Game's the ball on. tight. What all? First set. Volley that ball behind. But I think Morgan and Sikora, you know, they, they won't go away. They're, they're determined to just put one more ball back in play and look for their opportunities. They've led, they've added a lot of offensive plays to their to their game this year. It'd be interesting to see now if uh, if they move into the blitz situation, which they they like that play with Morgan returning. Yep, there's Sakura on the service line, putting pressure on that return. Good hands. That's a big play for them. 30. 
I mean, I love the play, up. Jerry, for them. I feel like they're going to have to take it to Burse and Elliot yes. to win the match. Burse and Elliot are going to have to... 15, oh. 30. Big serve. Fortunately, they're going to have to uh, figure out a way to shut this play down now because it's a one-two punch and it's a real confidence booster for Morgan and Sakura. 30 all. It's another big serve. We've been, we've been so used to over the years watching Elliot with her low and go serve. And now she's going for the big kick. Oh, I love it. 40, she wins 30. the national championship last year, and then she starts retooling her game. I mean, you've got to love the tinkering, and, you know, she just wants to be as great a player as she can be become, and that's the thing. We've seen Hannah Sabori push the level up in the women's game for years. These guys, Macy and Lynn, are doing their part to push this game up, and it's such a fun time in our sport to watch these women. Yeah, it really is. They're, uh, Elliot, she started hitting this serve last year she would went away with you know if she falls a little bit she would go back to the low and go but the second half of this season it's it's pretty much been that big serve but very effective Oof, that was close you know jerry as we've watched her i kind of feel like she has to like talk herself into hitting it and going for it because she knows in the long haul that's going to be the thing that will help their team the most yes yeah, she's she stayed with it. I'm sure she's hit a million balls in practice, and it's just about getting that match play feeling. Advantage, Burrish. I'm sorry, advantage, Elliot. Game, Burrish and Elliott. They lead the first set two games to one. Jerry, uh, you mentioned all four women are teaching professionals. We're, now we'll go to the other side of the net. Roxidicus, you know, they're chiming in on the chat. Lisa Todd's like, how come, you know, you got to give Roxidicus a shout out. So we're, <laughs> we're giving you guys a shout out now. Great fans of Paddle and, you know, the Kiro gang, uh, they're going to have to come up with a new name now that Lynn's gotten married. Um, and Macy Elliott is up in Connecticut, Rolling Hills Country Club. Um, and there's a good shot of Charlotte Sakura. Is she the highest ranked player in the women's game from France? I'm pretty sure. Because Who's Borsch, two, and Jerry? <laughs> Borsch and Elliot are the defending champions. They won this tournament last year. Alison Morgan serving. Manufacturers, we have uh, streaming set up on one court. So unfortunately, after this match, we'll be going, not unfortunately, I think it's going to be an amazing men's final. But the men's RNRT that's, still, that's going on with a couple of Long Island guys in the finals, unfortunately, we will not have a camera on that match. If we get updates during it, we'll, we'll be glad to share. Long 15. Boris just found the right armpit of Alison Morgan. You're going to have to watch the placement of their overhead because she's coming, Boris is coming all the way out, taking that shot. <laughs> that, that drive was got a, uh, got a little bit away from Boris there. Thirty, fifteen. Alison Morgan, beautiful volleyer. I love the way she sets. She gets low. She's quiet, minimum movement, and she allows the speed of the drive to come into her, and just has very soft hands. So she can, she could be able to handle the pace of the drives. 
along with Sakura. She's a very good volleyer as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how they work this point looking for openings. Here you talk about volleys, as you know. You see so many people who come over from tennis to platform tennis, and, and the volleys are such a key part of the success of you know, your paddle career in terms of, like you said, you have to wait, and you have to wait for that ball to get to your paddle versus reaching forward for that. And that's, that's a gigantic skill that you see all the top players in the game just handle volleys. They just make it look so easy, and it's not easy. Thirty all. Oh. You hit. You. 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 Oh. No. Clearly see the strategy here of Morgan and Sakura this game. They're sending everything straight back to Boris. They've got to be careful about the depth of their overheads and also the, the height on the screen. Jerry, tactically, why would they be keeping it away from Macy Elliott at this point and, and sort of going at Lynn Burris in that ad court? Except for that last yeah. point where they Ed they were they were falling straight back to Elliott because she was ha she was driving straight at them, so rather than change direction. But I think they're gonna gotta test one player. They're, let's see if Boris can build point off of the screen and hurt you with offensive plays off of the screen. Ooh. Just wide. <laughs> One of the things, you know, I was thinking about when I see these players play, and Macy Elliott is, I think, one of the brightest players out there on tour, besides being one of the greatest. But what she can do from that deuce court to break down the defense of the opposition. I think is more so than what Burrs can do out of the ad court, personally. So that's, you know, it'd be an interesting thing to see how Morgan Sakura play this match. Yes, and, and, you know, talk about the growth, the individual growth of a player. I remember Nationals Long Island, Nicolescu just worked Macy over in that deuce court with her roller and Macy has really worked on that part of, on every part of her game. And is looking as well, you know, the, she's more patient. Advantage Morgan. So she's, it's hard to break her down in that deuce court. So she's rock solid. Plus there's two righties. It's also, it's, it's, it is easier to go into that ad side. In, term, in terms of covering your logs, much easier for two righties oh, and a ball coming out of that oh. ad court. Oh boy. <laughs> well, that's just a different spin. I mean, she hit it like a push sliced forehand. I don't see, Boris. I don't think we'll see that shot again. Boris got I that. Think. <laughs> a loose wrist on her, on her drive and then she just she changed it. Advantage I think you mentioned it. I mean, if you're going to go at Burst, you've got to keep the ball deep. I think it's critical here for Morgan Sakura to really stay close and get off to a, a solid start here. They, they can't, there can't be much separation from Bears and Elliott because they're such good front running front yeah, runner no. type of players. 
So no steamroll. We'll get a chance. That's a good play from Morgan and Sakura because Morgan can build Burish points. So Elliott. one of her offense comes off of those higher, harder balls off the back three. One. I mean, the women's so game this year, definitely Burst and uh, Elliot and Hanish Zabori are the cream of the crop. They have separated themselves out. And, you know, Morgan and Sikora have cemented themselves in as the number three team in the country. And number four, how Ballard Nicolescu. I believe those will be our seeds in order going into Boston Nationals in two weeks. Um, but, you know, to get a win over Burris, Elliott, Hannah Sabori, a team has to play a phenomenal match. So uh, I, I think this is really a, like, it's critical for Morgan Sakura to keep it close. It's not critical for them to win, but it's critical for them to figure out what they might be looking to if they get a matchup, you know, in Boston, it would be in the semifinals. Yeah, I think they just, they need to dial back into that Long Island match in December where they were down 5-2 in the third. Came back and won that match. Love 15. Just saw a little bit of impatience there from Elliot. It's probably the comeback of the year on the women's side. Yeah. Fifteen all. <laughs> It must be nice to dial that serve up. <laughs> it's the Nick, the ball fl flew out. Jerry, you have that serve, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> In my dreams. Right. We needed the volley machine to help our serves look 30, anything close to that. 15. Followed by a let cord. <laughs> See, I like this play from Morgan and Sakura, putting Sakura on the service line. Just a sweet shot, drive down the line. Great set up from Sakura. She saw the setup coming from Elliot. She knew she was going to go straight at her. And I love the play. Sakura snuck all the way off the court, got in the green over there, and just let that ball reach her. Great anticipation. And you see that little compact push from Morgan. Off the deck, she found the opening and just pushed it in the hole and got the error. Funny, Burris and Elliot won nationals last year. I don't think Elliot had won another tour event <laughs> besides 40, winning two 30. national championships, which is unbelievable when you think about it. Um, yes. She teamed up with Charlotte, and they won out in Pittsburgh in the Steel City Open. That showed that she was in the finals of uh, the first few. Yep, but I think that's where she got her. I think that's where she got her first win. This, this yes, season. and then really brought it home since then. Game, Burrish and Elliot. They lead the first set, four games to one. Speaking of the volley machine, volley is the proud sponsor of the APTA. As the first AI-enabled training experience, volley modernizes racket sports by delivering the on-demand dynamic system for live play training and better workouts. Volley creates a community to connect pros and players while giving personalized performance insight to track progress and customize their practice. Ask your pro about a volley lesson today. For more information, visit getvolley.com. All right, so Boris and Elliot off to a 4-1 lead. Morgan and Sakura got to figure out a way to slow this down. The rushing... Uh, Morgan off the deck there, like on that last point. Morgan's very good at taking the speed of the overhead with a block lob and block chip and dictating play. But the spin from Borish and Elliott's overheads 
he's handcuffing her right now. So they've done a good job. What do you job. do, Jerry? What, what, what do you do to slow it down, to try you've to dictate some play? Yeah, you've got you've to gotta lob higher. Really put them air time in there. Ooh, good hands. And I think uh, Morgan in particular, she's, she might have to just put that quick block lob away from the minute. Let a few more of those balls go through the screen. I mean, she's fast. She can... Love 15. That's, that's Elliot's court awareness. See, she's playing that ball off that screen. She's keeping the ball between her and the net. And she could see that Morgan was slightly off the net. Love, 30. I love that point that you just made about Morgan should think about using the screens more because you can slow down play as the baseline team using the screens. Yeah. And the, Where she the has ball. all the ability in the world to just like block lob, hit the chip type of lobs, but it's feeding into what Burris and Elliot want her to do. Yeah, it's, it's a little too tough to hit those block lobs if there's a lot of spin on it. And the ball, you know, is sitting up. It's not like it's dying on the screen. So I think she, she needs to just let those go through, give her some more time. That follow-up volley from Sakura needs to be deeper. You mean it makes you nervous when she hits it short, Jerry? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, it, it, but, You're serving short. Yes, it, it can be attacked, but also it's letting Borish off the hook. You know, they're building the, they're building the point in that corner against against her and then the volley when you hit a volley that short she can get back into it i like to get that ball back deeper keep the chase going but it's such a risk as boris i mean she, her forehand is just lethal it's such a loose wrist i mean she can put it anywhere you know what's amazing to me about versus forehand jerry is What's your percentage of forehands that you've seen her in the matches you've, you've seen her play this year? Does she make 90% of her drives? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'd... Uh, 15-40. Well played, just too far back off the net to hit that shot. Well, maybe she was channeling her inner, inner Gabby Nicolescu right there, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. We know. We've seen that overhead from Gabby. She hits it from three-quarter step with incredible consistency and depth and power. You know, I think this is the difference, Jerry. I'm gonna just say something here about when I, when I watch Morgan. Burrish and Elliot. Burrish and Elliot lead the first set five games to one. I always leave the floor for Hall of Famer Tim McAvoy when he's in the chair to talk before us, Jerry. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know, I feel like with Morgan and Sakura when they hit their overheads, Jerry, I feel like they need earlier preparation to sort of create some kind of slight disguise or like the ability to get the ability to kind of like hit behind first and Elliot. I feel like they're very predictable in their overheads. And yeah, and, and they're and they don't phase first and Elliot at all. So 
it's really tough to win points at the net when your overheads are not really able to break down your opponents. And I also and, you know, think... We've, I, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, I, I agree ahead, with you. I, I agree with you. And I also think they, they don't capitalize on when they have hit a combination of good deep lobs. They tend to throw in one that lands around the service line or a volley that lands around the service Whoa. line. And that's what lets these top two teams, especially off the hook, you know, they need to, to aim their overheads in the last two feet of the court. Game and first set to Burrish and Elliott, six games to one. New well, Burrish and Elliott just continue to look. I, I can't see a weakness in their game, Patty, but we'll have more paddle. When we return after the break, right here on the APTA YouTube channel presented by My Paddle. And welcome back. We're here at the women's final between uh, Alison Morgan, Charlotte Sakura, uh, playing Lynn New Borish ball. and Macy Elliott. We're about to start the second the set. Borish and Elliott continuing to dominate here. And Patty. I gave Lynn a new ball. Oh, could have been the warm up. <laughs> Sorry. It has 10 minutes of use. Sorry. Second set. All right, Charlotte Sakura is serving, and Patty, they really need to slow things down here to get, get themselves into this match. Okay, Jerry, we spoke, we made a couple points in that first set. We felt that they needed to lob higher. Love 15. Possibly use the screens a little bit more from the baseline to dictate pace of play. Deeper volleys for sure. And Possibly a little better variety of overheads. Do we have it covered? And I think, and re one more, and recognition of when they've Love got, 30. when they're building a point in their favor. You know, I just think that they let let them off the hook. If they could yep. just put that next ball back deeper, they're, they're not capitalizing. I don't know, it's a little bit, I, I feel like Morgan and Sakura have had such a good season, but they're just, and they're knocking on the door. They've been knocking on the door for a long while, but it's, it's just this little piece. I don't know whether it's the eye of the tiger or or what. They definitely have the skill set. I mean, they're the fittest team on tour. Just get right there. But Jerry, the next time they're right there and they let them off the hook, will you tell us? 30. Right when you see I it. I will. Tell us. Okay. I'm usually, I'm usually pointing at the screen with my finger, but... You I are, can't. and I'm having <laughs> trouble keeping up with your finger. <laughs> So, I would like you to ring a bell for me, please. Okay, got it. See, there's three overheads in a row right there landing just past the service line. It's, it's got to be in the last two feet of the court because these, these Borish and Elliot are so good at taking the ball off the deck and placing and their the lobs. I mean, right, and the lack of depth, Jerry. 15, you know, 40. In this sport, when you play the net in women's paddle, it's more work than when you play the baseline for the most part, I would say. And, you know, the deeper you go on your shots, it gives you a little bit more setup time as the net team. And I think, you know, too many short overheads, too many short volleys, you know, then you end up, you know, getting more reaching types of misses that maybe you could do something to prevent if you have more depth. I don't know. I, I love the depth to give the net team a ton of time, personally. Hey, Jerry, right there, that play. I think Allison Morgan let Burris off the hook. 
first, hit an yeah. overhead, hit it hard. That second panel, I think, and I think Morgan let her off the hook. She had first three quarters back deep, didn't take the shot. You see that in the deep portion, Elliot. They lead the second yeah. set one game to love. They won the first set six games to one. Their overheads are not giving Morgan Sakura any offensive opportunities. If playing the ball off the screen, they have to hit up. Not a lot of opportunities for for Morgan to hit her block lob. And how many two-handed backhands have we seen from Charlotte Sakura in this match? And that is a huge weapon for the team. And that's because of the placement of Boris and Elliott's overhead. Placement and spin. I mean, the... I mean. I just think they're brilliant at not giving their opponents what they want to hit. Exactly. Exactly. You know, Jerry, I, I just think their mastery of the sport is, is so subtle. You know, they don't look overwhelming in any regard. They bring it when they get the chance. But they, they just don't hit stupid shots. Love 15. Except for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding. Only kidding, Macy. Sorry, Macy's mom. Oh, she just Sorry, caught Macy's it a little brother. late. Caught it a little late, that was all. She's just letting them know that that area is not safe. All the pressure right now is on Morgan and Sakura. 15 oh. Morgan's just rushing that backhand. See, every, every overhead is causing a problem for Morgan and Sakura. because of the placement of, of where Borish, like she hit those two balls that died on the back screen, so they couldn't attack it. 40, 15. All right, Jerry, if we could put an earpiece in Allison Morgan's ear right now. Yeah. What tell would you it tell to it? Slow, slow down, slow down and just build the point. She's going to have to wait longer for opportunities. I mean, that's the pressure that Boris and Elliot put on you. It's like you don't get a lot of looks, so she's she's going for that back end. Oh. And that's a huge game. improvement Burst in Macy Elliot. Elliot's game they lead in the, the second, second part of this season. That she's looking for that ball. That she's looking for that that drive and then she's completely closed the net and stuffing the volley back behind her. So it's an offensive volley off of an offensive drive and you have to be really on top of the net to pull that off and she's she's enjoying that play. Hey, she's done it against, she, she's done it a lot against Hannah Sabori. She does it against every team in the country. And I think she, she does it because she has so much confidence that no matter what shot follows, she knows Burrs has her covered. Right. You know, there's one thing to be the person sitting on top of the net, but if you have to worry about the next shot, it's a problem where Elliot doesn't, is not, you know, she's reading in. She reads the ball, and when she's watching her opponent's paddle, she's watching their facial expression, she's watching their body position, and if she sees them leaning in, she's going to go forward to try to stuff the volley. A lot of people stand there and pray. I find that prayer doesn't work. No, she, <laughs> she's looking for that play. She's enjoying that play. 15 two, all. two points back there, Patty, we saw Morgan hit a much deeper overhead. Not a lot of pace into Elliot, and, and Elliot missed the drive. So I would be paying attention to looking for a little bit more of those shots. Great get by Morgan. I actually thought in that transition play, Elliot couldn't quite pull it off. I thought she was going to drop Morgan on that play. 
look at the placement and the spin. Borsh is overhead. You can see your grip's way over here, getting that inside out, kind of like that reverse overhead, then moving your grip all the way the other way. You know, right in this point, every overhead she's hitting, she's changing her grip, hitting a little different spin. Look at that overhead from Elliot there. The last six inches of the court, they just, they're not giving Morgan and Sakura a look. Right, so here Morgan we have Morgan Sakura over in that, you know, in the deuce court, Jerry and Sakura over, and I was thinking, I wonder if they pull a switch and just sort of try to break up the scheme that Burrs and, uh, and Elliot are so honed in on here. 15, 30. Right, right there, Jerry. They're, just, they're all over them. They're all over every play. Yeah, Morgan had to recognize right there, they were totally screwed out of position on that point. And she just had to throw that ball up high and give Sakura, you know, some chance to get back in position. Just like a sense of where you are in the moment on the court. You know, a high lob would have been real beneficial. There's two short overheads right on the service line. 15, 40. When it's going your way, it's going your way, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. Everything's but going that, versus. It, it, you asked me to point it out. That was those two short overheads again that let Forrest take the play. Game. Let Cord winner from Elliot. And Elliot. <laughs> they lead the th second set, three games to love. They won the first set, six games to one. That's that saying, Patty, the water goes drown down the drain fast. You know, I've heard you say that, Jerry. Yeah. They've got to, just, they've got to slow it down yep, to have a there, chance here. Do they have a stopper big enough in their bag today? <laughs> I'm not sure. Boris and Ellie, I tell you, they, they look fantastic. They really do. Yep, Elliot is on top of the APTA Cup standings for the women. She's amassed 5,000 points going into this match. Uh, Floor Hanish and Anzabori are next up with 4,800 points, um, as well as uh, Lynn Burrish is tied for second as well with 4,800 points. And then Sakura and Morgan are number five and six in the money, Jerry. Payout for the top six players for the end of the season and for the APTA Cup, $50,000 to be split evenly between the men and the women. Very exciting. Love. Going into the Nationals. So this is the last tournament for those points, right? Because the Nationals doesn't count. Correct. So McNerney's win in the semis, you know, over uh, Salazar was big on the men's side. McNerney had a little lead, and, you know, they pulled out that semifinal. And I wonder, I'll have to check out the point standing on the men's side. Yeah, Graham was 250 points ahead of Salazar going into that match. Tyler Frazier's third, Stephen Mitchell fourth, Eo Honduran fifth, and Adam Morgan sixth. Uh, Avi Regalado, who we'll see in the final, um, who just was defeated in that semi, he's he's in seventh place. Bouncing. Fifteen all. All right, so that's one of the longer points that we've seen the second set. Serving. They look at that overhead. Such a well placed deep in the corner. This they're just shutting any good lob down. how Elliot just held her ground firmly. Sakura 30, took her shot at 15. her. Elliot just volleyed the ball back, went for a little bit there. I don't know, Jerry. I think Morgan had a shot in that point that she let Macy Elliott off the hook. She had a shot a little shorter in the court. Macy was 
uh, behind Burris, you know, deeper on the diagonal. And, and Morgan took the shot right at Burris. I think that recognition of where your opponents are, Jerry, you know as well as anyone who played against you forever. You know, and when you can identify where your opponents are on the other the other side and hit the ball to a spot and make them work really hard. That's the key to being repeatable in everything you do. You can do it on demand. Right, but you need to be playing at your speed of play. And I feel like the speed of play is all Boris Elliott. So Morgan and Sakura are having a hard time seeing the court. So even these block lobs are not really building right. the point, not really pulling Boris and Elliot out of the service box or causing any confusion. 40, 30. Yeah, that's a great point, Jerry. It seems like she's lobbing to get the ball back. She's not yeah. lobbying to break them down. You know, she's completely under attack. Yeah. That's where that more air time on the lobs. Game. She just she has not made Elliot. that shot. Has they not made the that. the second set, four games to love. So I put that backhand drive away right now and just lob it high down the line, lob it high cross court. I remember the old trick, lob it above, the, go up to the lights with the lob, air it out. I mean, I, I'd like to see Morgan just like let it rip and swing firmly and, and really swing harder to lob higher. You see the, the lobs of Macy Elliott here, just nice and deep. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, like Charlotte had a couple of great rips there. Fifteen um, low. You know that Including was a that beautiful last shot. One? Yeah, <laughs> she got that ball to dip. That was beautiful. I just don't think you can take it flat and hard at Lynn Burris. I don't think it phases her on the volley. No, they're great volleys. Yeah, she's got to pick that spot. Thirty low. You know, try to get her to flip her paddle over. All right, here's a little little window of opportunity here. It would do wonders for their confidence if they could get on the scoreboard right now. Really good high deep lob from Elliot. See, like that ball, Morgan's got to make hers hit like a side back screen. She's going to have to, like she could have flattened out that overhead and really pin Burris deep against that back screen and try to open up some court. Right. Yeah. 30-15. Overhead just too short in the court and allow Burris to just step in and crack it. Burge hurts people up the line with that drive. You've got to park yourself. You've got to stay. Like, to me, you know, the better that player is and the more they've proven that they make that drive, they make you go and play closer to the net. And I think knowing what Burge has, you know, I I'll lose a point to Burge and a lob all day, but you've got to defend her biggest weapon, which is her forehand drive. Uh, that's a good overhead. 15. Got that ball to die on the screen. That's a rare miss by Macy Elliott. I think I could count on one hand. Her screenplay is <laughs> phenomenal. So she's human, Jerry? So, yeah. <laughs> Oops, from Indiana. That's, that's just too short an overhead there. Too far back off the net, the pressure of Borge coming in.
Ellis just James. picked spots Morgan with her Sikora. lobs. Yes, that's game. We switch. Burrish and Elliott lead the second set four games to one. They won the first set six games to one. All right, that'll make him feel better. I'll... Oh, yeah. Hey, Jerry, in collaboration with the APTA, Fusion is at the forefront of personalized gear and apparel. Backed by a team of seasoned industry experts, Fusion provides exclusive access to high-end products from top-tier tier retail brands, all poised for customization with your club logo, team name, or corporate branding. Our streamlined approach guarantees a hassle-free shopping experience complemented by custom online storefronts and swift ordering. Visit www.gearbyfusion.com and let Fusion seamlessly weave your branding into elite merchandise. All right, Macy Elliott serving. Good look at that. Change up the chip. Haven't seen the low and go serve at all this match. 15 love. She's yeah, mastered wait. the low and go, Jerry. She doesn't and need to work on it <laughs> here now. <laughs> that overhead there, Elliot hit the last six inches of the court. She was pulled back, no pace. Morgan Sikora, they've just got to find a way to extend the rallies and just be more willing to play longer rallies and stay in it and see if they can see Love. something. This, but Boris and Elliot put so much pressure on them that they're just, they're, they're scrambling. They're just What athleticism for Elliot to extend that point, Jerry? I thought Sakura had her. What a great play. 15-40. I'm sorry, 30-15, my bad. 35. The voice of Tim McAvoy. like Ellen and Bruce have taken away the, you know, Sakura's offensive pressure that she applies, you know, and they just don't have an answer. Uh, they, with they, they're and bowling Elliot so and well. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're bowling so well. They've got everything covered. They're there before Charlotte Sakura is setting up. All right, I hear some words of encouragement courtside from a Morgan Sakura fan. <laughs> Advantage Sakura. Great two-handed backhand from Sakura right there. Sort of seemed like a, that, a little mental lapse from Maisie Elliott right there, Jerry. Yeah, that, that got set up, though, by Morgan hit two really good lob down the line. Deeper. Yep. You know, we need the one Mississippi, two Good. Mississippi <laughs> height, and Morgan just seems to be pressing, like trying to do too much with that back and bring it down off the deck. 
I think she just needs to put that away and just focus on moving that deep high mob around. Sakura. See if she can get Sakura a few more looks because she's starting to feel her drive now. Mm. Dude. Oh. <laughs> I love that Macy Elliott is going after her serves. It's a great catch from Sakura. Did you see that? She just waited on it, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> the ball just landed in her hand. <laughs> what a serve. Elliot and Boris have just kept Morgan Sakura off balance. They're able to find the nick there. Sakura. So good. So good. Let's go. No, no, no. Serve was good. Serve was in. Sorry. Deuce. You gotta love an apologetic umpire, Jerry. <laughs> Advantage, Sakura. Yeah, this this game you feel uh, it's always hard to close out a match. Elliot's rushing just a little bit. Dude. Bounces right back with a, a another big serve. Oh, there it is. Oh, there right? it is. <laughs> Didn't want to disappoint you. Did it hit you? The ball was out. The ball was out. She said she didn't touch the ball. I... Ball landed well out. I thought the ball was in. No, no, the ball's out. I thought it hit you. All right, Ad advantage, Elliot. Clear calling by Tim McAvoy. Go! Game, Burrish, Elliot, they lead five games to one, second set. Okay, big serving by Macy Elliot and Morgan, I just think she's got to put that shot away it hasn't been working today i know i know it's one of her favorite plays but you've got to recognize at the moment yeah i don't think she's listening love. for you yet cherry on that one but you know that's the great thing about the live streaming they can go back look at this match and look at the situations you're you're explaining and hopefully they use it to their benefit you know, the next time they run into each other. Yeah, you really do learn a lot from the watching the plays. You. 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 You want to see Sakura get over on the left of uh, Morgan. I just feel like she can do so much more with her overhead. Yeah, they usually do switch. Yep. And just Boris like and Elliot just, Boris and Elliot just showing incredible patience, the willingness to wait for the right shot and actually finding the joy in placing all these lobs with different plays. They've got great court coverage. I mean, their play is, is seamless right now. That's a short and I just feel like again. The yeah, the variety with Sakura with her overheads is a little bit more and, and the different, different Pieces that she hits as well. Love. And I feel like with Morgan's overhead, she's just they're coming in pretty love. similarly yes. paced <laughs> at Burst and Elliot, and it's not phasing. Okay. 
Harry, were you ever down 6151? Yeah. Uh, I must have been, but I can't remember. I doubt it. <laughs> but they should they should dial into um, their Long Island experience where they were down 5-2 in the third. 40, low. Yeah. And I think that's where Kiro's, uh, didn't her return a serve or serve go amiss? I think on her there, and I think they have to pray yeah. that you know, something gives with Elliot and Burst. They're going to need a lot of cooperation yeah. to, to get this match to, to even split sets in this match. Game, Sakura Morgan. Burst, Elliot, lead five. Nice Game. deep. Sakura. Low on the screen overhead. Uh, Give Boris a chance there. And the amazing thing, you look at Morgan Sakura, they have five tour wins this year. They had three tour wins last year. Um, you know, like I said, they've solidified themselves like in the top four players in the top four teams in the sport, you know, at number three ranking. But I can't, you know, I just feel like with Hannah Shizabori and with Burris, Elliot, you know, up there on the top two teams, that they're going to have to, they're going to have to find a little something special going into nationals. Because I, I just feel like Burris and Elliot and Zabori and Hanish can bring it to you and they capitalize. They take advantage of opportunities. And Ready? to your point, that's what Morgan Sakura I have to do to have a, a legitimate shot to pick off one right, of these teams at Nationals. Right, they've had wins over both teams, but they've never beaten the top two teams in the same tournament. Um, You see Porsche and Elliot will be in no rush. They can both play either side. They're just going to set up their strength by switching back. Beautiful. Deep and low. That's the short one. Switch at the backcourt, very smooth. Great, great play for Sakura. Follow that ball, come up with that shot. Get the point going. Longest point of the match here, Patty. Mm. Oh. Fifteen love. Tell you, Borish has been rock solid. Thirty. Love. I had a stat sheet, Patty. What do you think on that shot? You know what I think, Jerry? I didn't see it. <laughs> I've got junior nationals next weekend. All right. And I've been down. getting lots of questions from a lot of parents, Jerry. Okay. So, it was so sorry. Okay. Sorry, I was, no, no, I was no, no, playing no. a little catch up. I apologize. Um, back, backhand drive off the back screen by Morgan that she missed. If I had had that earpiece, I'd have to say it a little bit louder. Put that shot away for now <laughs> and throw up a lob. Oh, nice wow. little sneak shot. What a great combination of shots right there. 30, 15.
completion of this match will get the men's finals. Mark Powers is back. 30 all. With playing with uh, Guillermo Nunez and um, Jerry, I don't know if you've gotten to see them, but what a, what a what a great team. They're having a great tournament so far. And they're going to come up against number one seed, Araya McNerney. Completion of this match. Advantage Morgan. Great dipping return, Jerry. Nice. There's and you know, the, the play before was uh, the one-two combination of the blitz, which they were able to pull off. We haven't seen a lot of that play no. this match. Just that serve is just phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Two for Lynn, one for Macy in this match. And then, you know, kind of just snuffs out the, the momentum right away, right? Advantage Morgan. All right, they've got a chance. Get another game. It's one point at a time. Game, Morgan <laughs> Sakura. Burrish Elliott lead the second set, five games to three. Well, that was a great time <laughs> to have that pull that shot off. She'd be missing it more than she's been making it, but now that puts them at a 3-5. Charlotte Sakura serving. Let's see if they can. Yep, and I think the key to that shot, for, you know, we didn't really want her to hit it. But she actually picked up on Macy Elliott dropping low. back off the net, and that gave Morgan room to make the shot in front of her. And didn't try to overhit it. Correct. She's been missing them long, just putting a little bit more heat on it. Yeah. Right, and when you have that player off the net, you do have some space, so you can hit, you'll get away with some of those off-speed type shots. It's overhead, just love, just brings them out of the service box, and that creates this opportunity now. Thirty, love. It's a little bit more consistency. A calmer pace, speed of play for Morgan and Socorro. Maybe they were listening, Jerry. See, I like these overheads going deeper down the middle of the court. Make, see if they can get an unforced error, push too far, too soon. Happening, Jerry. Uh, we Boris. got a turnaround here. Yeah, Boris. Boris and Ellie, they have stepped back a little bit. They're not being quite as aggressive, and Morgan and Sakura have managed to calm down it, with it that feel, speed. Right. Have they taken their foot off the gas, Jerry? Uh, Boris and Elliot, yeah, they have. The intensity has dropped just a little bit. But they're seeing the court so well, Boris and Ellie, that I, I think they're enjoying playing more points. That's the feeling that I get. You know, they're not they're not in any rush. Yeah. 
right. Earlier it felt like Morgan was had a flight to Chicago that she was trying to catch, and now she's settled in and accepted that she's flying out in the morning. <laughs> hey, Morgan Sakura. Chris right, Elliott lead the second set five games to four. They won the first set six games to one. Yeah, so we saw Boris and Elliott get the let cord breaks before, and uh, that was an opportune time for Morgan and Sakura. I mean, kudos to Morgan and Sakura. I, I really wasn't feeling a lot of hope for them, and and you know they've just kind of grinded this out, Jerry. And it and it's it's not like they're doing a lot of things that differently than earlier on. But I, I think they're getting a little help from Burrs and, and Elliot. I've got to say. Yeah, they have definitely. But I also think that the speed of play and not feeling. I mean, they. They can't match Boris and Elliot's paint. 15 love. There's the spark. They can't match their pace. They're not going to out hit Boris and Elliot. So they've got to find other ways. And one of those other split. ways is their speed of play. Yeah. I think if they split sets, Jerry, they should go find some big hooped earrings. Put them on, <laughs> wear them in the third set. You think that's the, that's the trick? Maybe it could impact Macy Elliott's psyche. I'm not sure anything can. 30, love. Didn't really hit that with conviction. She did not. She hit that with conviction. Right, and that's the one thing with Elliot teeing off on her serve. You know, it does bounce up high, and that feeds into that beautiful shot from uh, Charlotte Sakura. 30 all. That serve would bounce over my head and mostly over your head, Jerry. <laughs> so <laughs> and right into Sakura's wheelhouse. I don't think Sakura has to hit that return so quite so hard it's just going to be a transition shot not sure she recognized that, that she was staying back placement of the overheads Critical. Just see Elliot and Boris just looking, just prodding and looking, and they will pounce. They get a shorter ball. Volleys. Ah, I was just about to say they've gone away from hitting their overheads in the middle of the court. Oh boy. Game, set, and match to Burrish and Elliott. 6-1, 6-4. Well, that was, a, that was a good comeback there in the second set from Morgan and Sakura, but lights out play from Boris and Elliot. The Patty, I just think they are so dialed in. It is going to take a huge effort by any team to, to really try to break it down and going to have to come out 100% because they are... Every part of their game has been improved. I, I absolutely agree, Jerry. They're going to be they're they're the team to beat at nationals, and you know what firepower, what defensive abilities they've got, like this extraordinarily well-rounded game as a team, and so fun to watch. And Jerry, after this, what do we have coming up? I think we have the men's final. Are you calling that match, Patty? I believe I'll be uh, talking to uh, 
Dave Broderick um, in a couple of minutes. How are you doing, Tim? Good. This is so, the stuff they don't tell you about when you're that fancy. Gary, I think we're going to sign off here. Okay, that's a wrap. Nice call in the match with you, Patty, and um, have fun in the men's final. You bet. Thanks, Jerry. Talk soon. Ready for a whole new training experience? Welcome to Volley. At Volley, we've developed the first AI training system for racket sports, providing pros with the advanced teaching tools they've been waiting for and giving players a new way to level up their game and enhance their time on the court. Ask your pro about a volley lesson today and learn what volley can do for you. We'll see you on the court.